Let's begin by describing and defining the event program we are going to create. This is the first step we have identified in our process. This program uses the International Classification of Diseases 10th Revision, otherwise known as ICD-10, in order to classify morbidity and mortality upon discharge of hospital inpatients. The ICD-10 is a medical classification of diseases that is published by the World Health Organization. Let us quickly review the paper register that is filled in at the hospital. It has information on patient details, residence details, and their admission details. This may seem like a simple form, but because it is using ICD-10, detailed data on morbidity and mortality can be generated from this information. To see how this form has been made into an event program in DHIS2, we will open the Capture app. To view the form, we need to select a hospital to register the event. And then select the ICD-10 Register Program. Select New Event to load the form. We can see that the form has a few different sections. The first section is the basic information about the event. This includes the report date and coordinates to record residence details. These are not configured as data elements. We will describe the process of configuring this when we go to create our program. The second section contains details about the patient. The data elements include sex with the options male and female to select from, pregnant with values of yes or no, age in years, height in centimeters, and weight in kilograms. In the admission details section of the form, the data elements that are available are the date of admission, the date of discharge, and the mode of discharge. We can see how options on a paper registry have been transferred over to DHIS2. Options are configured as drop-down lists in our example. Other data elements, like dates, for example, more clearly show their data element type within the input field and have different behaviors based on this type as well. Selecting a date field will bring up a calendar, for example. Defining the data element type correctly is a key part of configuring event programs that we will discuss when we demonstrate how to create these data elements. In the ICD-10 Diagnosis section, we have the ICD-10 Diagnosis data element. This contains thousands of options, specifically all of the options that are listed in the full ICD-10 classification list. A useful feature with option sets is that we can type in text and it will filter the option out. So if we know the actual code, we can enter it in the search box and it will filter the options out. We can then select this after we have filtered our list. Underneath the ICD-10 Diagnosis section, we have the standard sections to mark the event as complete as well as a section to add comments. As we did in the previous subsection of this module, we should consider filling out a template to identify all of the various components we have discussed in line with our DHIS2 data model. This includes data element value types, option sets, and options. We have made a copy of this completed template available to you so you can use it as we create the program within DHIS2. We will use it along with the paper register to create the program as we move through this demonstration. Under normal circumstances, we would also want to review other parts of this use case to understand it in more detail. This would include reviewing indicators, outputs, and reports that are routinely produced, as well as any standard operating procedures or workflow routines that are part of this use case. In this scenario, however, we are focusing solely on the mechanics of creating the form within DHIS2. 
with the register being reviewed, seeing the actual program in DHIS2, and mapping the components of the register to the DHIS2 data model completed, we will move on to showing you how to perform this configuration on your own.